Okay, today we're going to try to clear up a little bit of confusion that there seems to be about the dynoing process and tuning your race car. Um, now here at HED, we want to help you tune your race car or street car, whatever it is, and get the, the most out of it. We want to help you do that, but there's some criteria that you need to meet on your end to help facilitate this process. And there appears to be a lot of confusion about this. We have a never any problem with this. In some cases, I'm sure other tuning shops have the same problems we do. We're not unique in that aspect. <clears throat> now, there's a few things that, that you've got to make sure happen on your end. The first of these is right here. Do you have a race car? Okay, well, it sounds pretty ridiculous, but you would be surprised how many times this starts to be a problem. When you call us for a dyno appointment, ask yourself first, do I have a race car? A lot of times people call us and to make a dyno appointment and they literally don't even have a race car yet. They're going to buy a car from somebody next week and a month from now or so we're going to need to get on the dyno. <clears throat> okay, that's cool. Buy a race car first, then call us. Save us both a little aggravation. Make sure you have a race car before you book a dyno appointment. Seems self-explanatory but it can be a problem. <clears throat> so. The next would be, if you assuming you have a race car, let's move on to the next step. <clears throat> Will it start? Now what I mean by this is, can you go out in your race car, turn the ignition on, the fuel pump, whatever, and hit start, and it'll fire up? Okay, sounds self-explanatory. Once again, a common problem. If you can't answer yes to that question, you don't need a, right, you don't need a dyno session, you need a mechanic right? You need a mechanic before you need a dyno. So if this is an X, let's go down here to mechanic. Same here, X, mechanic, to build your race car, right? So got to have a car, it's got to start, right? Can't beat that, let's not talk about dyno yet. <clears throat> Number three, let's assume that you've got a race car and it'll start. Does it make funny noises? Okay, sounds, I hear this all the time, and I've got it all running and everything, it sounds a little sketchy, a little bit of noise coming from the motor or whatever, but what do you think you can get us in? <clears throat> no. If it makes funny noises from the motor or whatever, you might ought to investigate where those noises are coming from, because what inevitably happens is it blows up on the dyno, and then people are like, oh, the dyno blew my car up. No. Your car was already blew up, you just didn't know it yet. So, we've got an X here. Mechanic. See, this is a handy little flow chart we got here. <clears throat> Number four. Assuming you've got all these things good. You got a race car, it'll start. It doesn't make funny noises. Do you have fuel? If you're going to the dyno, you're going to run your car on the dyno all day or whatever. Might be a good idea to have fuel. Bring it with you. I'm not a fuel, I'm not a gas station. I don't keep fuel here. Never have. Probably never will. So that's also something you might want to look at. So if you can answer yes to all these questions, then it's time to make a dyno appointment and we'll schedule we'll schedule and get you in. If you can't hit, answer yes to these questions, it's not time to call for a dyno appointment, right? Like I say, if you're ready to go and, and you want to make an appointment, we'd love to help you out. But you got to help us a little bit. <clears throat> make sure that um, you guys got your your eyes dotted and your T's crossed before you call. And uh, that's it.